But we found out a couple of weeks ago that Abel Andrew Jackson, who I'm sure Booker T is actually on the phone with right now, if I was a betting man, made this match official. Remember, the loss the Reality of Wrestling Tag Team Championship at the Summer of Champions. The heat consisted of Mysterious Q and Gaspar Hernandez. Tonight, Booker T has shaken things up and put the Reality of Wrestling Champion, Matty Ice, with the Mysterious Q to try to get those titles back with the heat. What better way to try and secure victory than by putting the current world champion in there with a not only a former tag team champion, but also a former reality of wrestling champion in his own right. This is a fantastic idea from Booker T. And I never thought I would say that here, especially with his current actions with the Heat. But Culture Inc. has that brotherhood behind them. They have been tag teaming for years. You, you said fantastic idea. Are you, are you sick? I would like to hear the logic against this. This is a great idea. That's the current world champion that we're seeing right now in front of us, Brittany. It is the current world champion. However, Booker T being able to even have this rematch. Look at him feeling fresh. Excited, got his jacket on. And the lead, give it up for Culture 8. This is definitely going to be a very interesting matchup as many people are calling that fatal four-way tag team championship match the match of the year for reality of wrestling so far now it is going to be culture inc meeting the heat but a new tandem in the heat and it's different when you go from singles competition to tag team competition but it is no joke to be in the ring against a world champion well, now strategy being spoken about between Booker T, Q, and Matty Ice, Gaspar Hernandez there as well. But we also see Nick Holiday over here talking to Culture Inc. Now Booker T has seen what he's created with the Heat and has seen it slowly slipping away as championships and championships are lost by the Heat. I, I almost wonder if he still has the same confidence in his guys and gals as he did before. Well, look at this Q even on the side said he's going to step in first. Do you think that he's trying to, to show Booker T that he's worthy and that he can gain these championships back for the Heat? I think it's smart that Mysterious Q is the one to start this out. He's the one that has the most experience against Culture Inc. So Matty Ice can do a little bit of scouting on the outside and maybe start formulating his own game plan for how he can be the wild card into this matchup. As we're getting things started here in this championship match, Malik Bo City of Culture Inc. starting it out 
against Mysterious Q in the green. Q trying to quiet Bro Nation out here chanting for Culture Inc. And it's such a weird thing to see because at one point Mysterious Q was the guy that got cheered the most out of anybody. He was the face of the reality of wrestling, being a former three-time reality of wrestling champion. And now he is oh, quite possibly the most hated man of this entire roster. Well, what is, what is the saying, Brad? You, you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain? That, that was said in a movie, I believe. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thanks, Brad. Were you at? Were you trying to find the accuracy of that? Yeah. Oh, that look at that, though, man, Malik. Culture Inc. always continue to impress me with their athleticism. As you saw Malik Bosidi getting out of that spot with a backflip, and now Mysterious Q is in the corner. He does not want to be in Brittany. Well, and Kirby, like you said, you said that Maddie Ice was going to be the wild card here for the Heat, but let's be real. Culture Inc. is a wild card oh. all in themselves. Look at that there. Their tag team action cannot be competed against. Speaking of Maddie Ice, speaking of Maddie Ice. Oh, 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 damn. Swung and missed twice. Were we, were we, we were speaking of Maddie Ice? Everyone's always speaking of Maddie Ice. He is the reality of wrestling champion. And because of that, you need to show him the respect that he has earned and deserves from you. All right. And all, all right. of the people here in the building tonight. Booker T barking orders. It doesn't seem as though, Kirby, that. Matty Ice and Q have really found their groove, being this is their first time teaming. And that is something that we're definitely going to have to keep our eye on. Is it ever going to come together? Are they maybe going to be finding their groove? Are they going to find that thing that they have in common, being world champions, being at that top level? As we now see the tag from Mysterious Q, Matty Ice is the legal man for the first time in this matchup, Brittany. He is indeed, and I'm sensing a little tension from Q. His facial expressions, the look, he seems out of sorts. Oh, oh man. The cheap shot there from Mysterious Q opens it up for Matty Ice, as now he is just stomping away on Malik. Did you expect anything else from the Heat, though? I mean, oh, Culture Inc. is the champions that we Into deserve. The cover here, two count, though. Regardless of what the Heat and Booker T have to say, Culture Inc. is definitely here for the culture and for the culture of reality of wrestling itself. But my goodness, the athleticism. Oh, driving him down with that vertical suplex with authority. Did the reality of wrestling champion just deliver to Malik? And here we see the tag here to Mysterious Q. And I think, Brad, that they are definitely starting to find their groove here as we were talking about earlier. They are getting right into it now, and they're not allowing oh. Eli Knight to come in. And that's definitely a smart idea because we see Eli pull out maneuver after maneuver of things we have oh, never seen goodness. before. Mysterious Q toying with Malik and the Reality Wrestling Nation. And that is definitely also the, the psychology games, the psychological games that Mysterious Q plays here with his opponents. Malik, though, fighting back. You have to give it to him. They are fighting champions here. Oh. Culture Inc. Culture Inc. never shying away from any challenge that is presented their way whenever they were told that they would be in that fatal four-way matchup. They never shied away from that challenge. And look how that worked out for them, Brittany. It has indeed, but this is not working out for them. Malik is in the wrong corner. Yes, he's facing against Matty Ice, but he's got to worry about Mysterious Q. He's got to worry about Gaspar. He's got to worry. Into the cover here, though, as Eli was trying to come in and break up that fall. Creating a distraction, and Matty Ice was taking advantage of it. Now, Brett, I have to ask. We always see Coltrane going here against Tag Team Champions, but I believe this is the first time they're in the ring against the current Reality of Wrestling Champion. Does that maybe change your game plan being there against the World Champion? If I'm Eli Knight and, and, and Malik, absolutely not. I'm the champion. I set the standard in this division. That is not a tag title belt. That's not a tag division. So I think that they feel just as confident as they ever would be. Speaking of confidence, there oh. we go. Step up in Zaguri there. 
not down and out yet though, Matty Ice still on his feet. Oh, able to pull out the leg from underneath him though. Malik able to kick through though and gets the tag. Here we go. Here comes Eli. Oh. From the top. Oh, 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 oh. delivering a drop kick. Eli Knight is one of the most exciting people that we have here in the entire Reality of Wrestling roster. And he's showing us exactly Whoa. why. Moving almost like a ninja here, Brad. You want to you wanna talk about heat? Eli is on fire right now. Eli jumping up, striking him down with that DDT into the cover to retain the gold. But a oh, kick out no. from Matty Ice. That was too close for Booker T's liking there. And we know that Booker T is definitely feeling the effects of losing the Diamonds Championship last week. He would hate to see another championship slip his hands for the heat here tonight. As Matty Ice was able to get back up to his feet with the distraction from Q. Oh my, the power! Oh. Matty Ice being a difference maker in this contest. Spike down Eli, and now creating a bit of time and separation for himself, as you saw Orton is coming from, wait! Well, we've seen a dissension in the ranks. We saw Booker T say he can control Q. And I'm assuming Q must have heard it. And now turning his back on the heat. Telling you earlier, the looks on Q's face, he did not seem like he felt respected by Booker T here tonight. But back in the ring here, Matty Ice trying to finish this matchup. It's a two-on-one scenario as Mysterious Q is locked out. Blockbuster from Malik. And now Eli this is it. from the top this rope. Is it. Here we go. This is it. Oh. Eli goes cover. That's got to be it. One, two, two three. And Matty Ice is done. Double trouble here as culture ain't retained. I am in absolute shock here. Culture Inc. retained their championships by pinning the current world champion, but Mysterious Q is nowhere to be seen. He's gone. He was tired of the disrespect, and he decided to take matters into his own hands, and the heat seems to be fizzling out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try and get you an update as soon as we can. Maybe we can catch Mysterious Q as he leaves the building. But standing in front of you right now are still the Tag Team Champions, Culture Inc.